Hi, I'm Krista Matuska. I've been an intern here at the UW School of Oceanography this summer, and I've been working with physical oceanographers to model the inertial oscillations of sea ice. So what are inertial oscillations? As you probably know, the rotation of the Earth causes the Coriolis force, which is stronger toward the poles. So it affects the dynamics of individual chunks of sea ice called flows. When a flow in the Arctic is pushed by, say, the wind, its velocity is deflected to the right by the Coriolis force. This results in circular trajectories called inertial oscillations. These oscillations are damped by surrounding ice, as well as the ocean below. My project focused on modeling this damping in particular, which I talk more in depth about on my poster. Studying inertial oscillations will basically give us a, a unique perspective into how uh, the ice strength um, can be diagnosed in the ocean and how we can um, monitor it because taking direct observations of ice weakness or ice strength is really difficult. Throughout the summer, I spent my time working with the model in MATLAB, as well as attending group meetings where I got to hear about the research being conducted by grad students and many other interns in physical oceanography. We feel it is important for the undergrads to take these kind of opportunities to um, blend the different things that they've been working on in their classes over the past couple of years. Um, so when you are able to come and apply these different coursework to research, you get to see how you can utilize these different topics that have been in different areas, how they come together and blend together and are able to be applied and solve real world problems. Georgi and Brandon, thanks so much for all your help this summer. And to everyone else, I look forward to talking to you about my poster.